Evaluating your GRE performance. A deep dive into question types. Hello, dear learners. In today's session, we're going to focus on an essential aspect of your GRE test preparation, evaluating performance on different question types. By understanding how you perform across these question types, you can better identify your strengths and weaknesses. Let's dive right in. GRE consists of a mix of different question types. Broadly, these can be divided based on the sections. Quantitative reasoning includes questions that test your problem-solving skills in algebra, arithmetic, geometry, and data analysis. Verbal reasoning contains reading comprehension, text completion, and sentence equivalence questions. Analytical writing. This isn't a question type in the traditional sense, but it assesses your ability to articulate complex ideas effectively and coherently. Knowing how you fare in each of these question types can be immensely beneficial. Here's why. 1. Pinpointing weak areas. If you're consistently struggling with say, geometry questions, then you know where to devote more study time. 2. Strategizing for test day. If you excel at reading comprehension but struggle with text completion, you can allocate time accordingly during the test. 3. Boosting confidence. Performing well on certain question types can be a morale boost. Knowing your strengths can help you feel more confident on test day. It's important to regularly take mock tests. When you review the results. 1. List down question types. As you go through each section, categorize mistakes based on question types. 2. Tally the mistakes. Count the number of errors in each category. 3. Percentage analysis. Calculate the percentage of mistakes in each category relative to the total questions of that type you attempted. For instance, if you got 3 out of 10 reading comprehension questions wrong, that's a 30% error rate for that category. Remember, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. The idea is not to get discouraged by areas of improvement, but 1. Acknowledge your strengths. Celebrate the sections you're good at. It's an indicator of areas you've mastered. 2. Constructive criticism. Instead of saying, I'm bad at geometry, rephrase it to, I need to work more on geometry. 3. Set smart goals. For instance, in the next two weeks, I aim to reduce my error rate in text completion by 15%. We hope this video gave you a clearer roadmap on how to evaluate your performance on different GRE question types. Remember, the path to success isn't always linear. It's about recognizing where you are, understanding where you need to go, and taking constructive steps towards your goal. Keep practicing, stay positive, and you're sure to see improvement. Until next time, happy studying!